Hi guys, it's Laura. Thank you so much for watching and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a what I eat in a day video again, which I haven't done in a while, but I've been sick. Long story short, I had bladder infection, which totally caught me off guard and it's been pretty crappy because I also had some bad reaction to the medicine, but I had to take the medicine because it wouldn't go away for quite a long time. So, you know, not really my best two weeks, but I'm finally feeling better. So I thought like, you know, let's do this today. So I'm here in the kitchen. I'm about to cook myself my favorite pumpkin porridge for which I already have a recipe. I will link it down below. And once I'm done cooking, I will show you how it looks. Here I am with my breakfast, together with Hercules, of course. So I'm having my pumpkin porridge and here we have my mason jar filled with water, as usual. Recently, I also started adding crystals into my water. They are supposed to ionize the water and the water is supposed to taste better. And when you let it sit for a while with the stones in it, it will not taste stale, which is a thing I definitely noticed. And I like the taste. I also like the way how it looks. People also say that stones have some energy and special properties. I'm not sure if I believe in it, but I definitely noticed a difference in the taste. So that's why I'm doing it. The stones that I have in right now are quartz and amethyst and some orange stone I forget the name of. But I'm pretty sure if you Google crystals for water, you're going to find enough information on the internet. And that's my breakfast. to my room with Hercules. I'm kind of trying to figure out where to start um, because I have to catch up when it comes to my DIY channel because since I've been sick for two weeks I couldn't do anything and I finally posted a video yesterday with or two days ago I don't remember anyway a few days ago with these cute Christmas ornaments you know these are made of plush and these are cotton hearts so I'm gonna link the video down below just in case you're interested I made a bag full of them and we're gonna put them on our Christmas tree downstairs in the living room area. And I have here some more fabrics and materials that I wanna use up. I wanna make an advent wreath for a door. Then I wanna make myself an apron in gray shades so that it goes with everything we have downstairs and with the Christmas tree because we have decided that our Christmas tree is going to be silver, white and gray this year. And then I'm about to make a table decor, so I think I'm gonna start there because I already prepared something for that. Yeah, and then I have to put myself together because I need to run some errands. And when it's gonna be time for lunch, I'm gonna talk to you guys later. By the way, Christmas tree. I already put up my Christmas tree here. Um, as you can see, it's also all in silver shades because it goes very well with the entire theme in this room since everything here is gray and white and black. And what I love about this tree especially are these LED candles. I think they're so gorgeous. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so that you can see them better. I have a remote control for them so you can turn them on or off. And then there are two modes. They can flicker a little bit slower or a bit faster. I don't know if you can tell but I think they're so gorgeous and it makes me feel so festive here. Hercules doesn't really look like he's impressed with the candles. Almost lunchtime. I got really hungry, so I went downstairs and started cooking myself a lovely homemade broccoli soup. It is pretty much the same recipe like for my pumpkin soup, which I will list down below. The only difference is that instead of pumpkin, I added broccoli, and that's pretty much it. So this is going to be my first course. <laughs> now to my second course. So I put two slices of sandwich bread in the small toaster oven that we have here. 
that's a very practical thing. So first I put mayonnaise on both slices and a little bit of ketchup. Then there is a slice of vegan cheese with tomatoes and basil. Here I have smoked tofu and I added a few pieces of mushrooms on both slices and then I just put it in the oven for a while. And now I'm gonna add a few tomato slices and a little bit of spinach, spinach leaves. This is pretty much a lazy version of my vegan club sandwich for which I also have a recipe already and I will link the video down below but this goes a little bit faster. This is for the lazy days and it's only two layers so now let me close this. And this is my second course now. It's half past four, but by now it is super dark outside. It looks like it's late in the evening. So I'm really happy that I have decided to finish my DIY project first because I like filming with daylight whenever possible. It got dark by the time I was filming the intro and outro, but that's okay. So I set up my ring light here and my softbox and that's all right. Anyway, that's the thing that I have created today. So this is this cute decor that I will use probably on our windowsill or maybe on our dining table. It took me probably in total, I'd say like five or six hours, but I'm gonna need at least the same amount of time for the editing and thumbnail and everything else. And I think it's gonna be at the end only like eight or 10 minutes long video. So these things should never be underestimated. There is a lot of time that goes into this, but I love it. I love filming, I love creating things, and I love editing. And I thought maybe that would be something uh, that you would be interested in. So if you want to know how the process looks like when I'm filming DIYs, let me know in the comment and I could film a vlog about that. Anyway, now that I'm done, I'm gonna go to the grocery store and to the drugstore and then I will talk to you guys later. All right, I got back from my errands. And it is so cold that I finally got to wear my winter coat. This is a coat I made myself last year. If you're interested in the tutorial, I will link it down below. I think it's like four videos in total because that was a lot of work. And don't worry, this is not real fur, this is plush. So it has this hood, which is wonderful because when it gets windy, I am very sensitive on my head. And then I just put the hood up and I can even close it when it's really nasty outside. And the coat is pretty long, so I'm gonna put the camera on the ground so that you can see how long it is. And that's great because I also get cold, you know, wherever, when it's really nasty. And I think having a long coat is always great in winter because then you're really toasty warm all the time. So, and I just look at the clock. I think it's like a little bit after six. So I think I'm gonna start preparing dinner. Actually, I just thought I should show you the haul. I mean, it's not much because we go to the store regularly. Uh, so we always have at home like potatoes and rice and stuff like that, like, you know, the basics. So this is just some extras. However, I thought it might be interesting for you. So here we go. I have here two packs of Saitan, definitely one of my favorite protein sources. If you're interested in what protein sources I like, I will link a video down below that I filmed like, I think like two months ago about that. And I will use one pack tonight because I'm cooking wok with it. I'm gonna cut it into strips and mm, it's gonna be so delicious. Then I have here, of course, mushrooms because what would be a hole when it comes to me without mushrooms? I also bought a pack of soy minced because I'm planning on making meatloaf for Thanksgiving. And I'm making it obviously with um, soy, yeah. And this is something I really like. It needs to be cooked first, but it is really delicious. Then I also have here uh, these, um, not these, this is this, tom tomato puree with herbs. Really lovely, you can use it as a basis for pasta sauce or add it into some other cooking. And it's in a glass, which I always like because I feel like anything that's packed in glass tastes way better than when it's wrapped in plastic. Then I bought my favorite tomato sauce, Arabiata, all-time favorite. And then I also brought 
an oat drink. So this is my favorite non-dairy milk. I used to drink a lot black tea with milk. It's my Russian roots, I can't help it. And when I went vegan, I wouldn't like it with any non-dairy milk. I just didn't like the taste of soy milk in my tea. And then I discovered oat drink and I love it. So I mostly drink my chocolate chai tea with this and it's just wonderful. This is something that makes any cold day paradise. So what else? Then I have here a pack of raspberries and I also bought one plum. I bought only one because Jack doesn't like these so much. And then I brought this gingerbread. So I checked the ingredients. It doesn't specifically say that it's vegan, but it is. So there is no dairy, no, no um, animal products whatsoever inside. And I tried that and it's so delicious. So I bought two packs of this. And then I have here the fun part, this, you know, peanut flips. And they are also vegan and they taste so delicious. So tonight when we're gonna watch a film, I'm gonna have a few of those. And I think that's it for the groceries. So as I told you, it's not much. Then I bought my cotton pads and I bought this uh, deodorant. This is some limited edition. It says it has rose and guava scent and it also says on the back that it's vegan. It's by the brand Balea. This is, um, you know, the drugstore's own brand here in Austria and it smells really wonderful. I already tried that and that's my haul. All right, I'm done with cooking. So this is, I hope you can see something, what we're gonna have. So I have here basmati rice, the saitan cut in strips. There's also bell peppers, the mushrooms, scallions, what else? There is broccoli and I also cut one tomato in or I think it was a little bit less than that because I had leftover tomato from lunch and this is our dinner and that's also the time when I'm gonna say goodbye because this is our last meal and I'm only gonna have the peanut snaps or snips, what is it called? Flips, peanut flips <laughs> when we're gonna watch a film. So I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumb up. You know, you know the ending already. I would be also super happy if you would subscribe to my channel. If you didn't yet, I listed down below uh, all of my Instagram accounts. There are also two discount codes that I have currently for you guys. And I listed down below also several playlists. And wait, someone else wants to say bye. Here's the puppy, okay? So I love you. <laughs> I can't even talk now. I love you guys so much and thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.